Hello, all you subscribers out there. Uh, I can say all you finally because it's my numbers have just suddenly jumped. Now, I don't know if uh, a lot of you have shared, uh, but I know I'm getting a lot more comments and gained 100 sub subscribers just today, which I know that's small potatoes for some people, but that means a lot to me. And I've got a lot of really nice comments and um, I'm still trying to work out how I'm gonna do this. So uh, any feedback that you can give me is appreciated. If you, if it's hard to see, or if you like what you see, uh, or if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know. Uh, but today I'm gonna try and do a series of love readings uh, for all signs, because the full moon is, uh, uh, gonna be up here in a couple of hours and uh, I would really like to do a full moon release ceremony now that's a good idea for anyone who has some negative things that they've been dealing with um, and I actually did one of these uh, last month on the full moon and um, I actually didn't feel a lot of release from my uh, woes at that time but within a few days I actually started to laugh a lot more and feel a lot better and and then on the new moon I did another ceremony to bring the good things to me and I gotta say I feel so much better than I did just a month ago and so I wanted to continue uh, doing uh, the full moon release uh, ceremonies and the you know the calling in of the good stuff on the new moon so, um, but on this, on this uh, full moon, I would kind of like to ask the moon to take my energy uh, all across, you know, uh, around, the, around the world um, uh, so that it can maybe sprinkle a little bit of love everywhere for anyone who needs it. And, you know, let's face it, we all need it. So, um, Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get right into the readings. And I'm going to start with Aries. And these will be love readings. Uh, one um, subscriber requested uh, something fairly specific, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the love readings and if uh, who she's, you know, looking for shows up in the reading, then maybe this will confirm for her what she's looking to find out. But I don't generally read for specific signs. I mean, I don't say this is that or this is that because the reality is, although many of the suits will uh, seem to be uh, leaning in a specific direction, uh, the reality is anyone, it could be anyone. I've heard readers say, well, this could be a water sign or a fire sign or an earth sign. Well, it could be anybody really. So why bother? <laughs> why bother saying it? It's the energy that uh, the person conveys. And, you know, you know very well that um, uh, an air sign can uh, have the energy of uh, an earth sign and vice versa uh, or any any which way. You know, uh, we're, we're, we're all a conglomeration. So, uh, starting with Aries, uh, this is the way these are going to lay out. Uh, this will be your energy, their energy, uh, your feelings, their feelings, your obstacles, their obstacles or challenges, or your potential for happiness, and the outcome. Now, this could either be for singles or people that are in relationships. Um, so, heading right in here, Aries. Huh. You appear to have an offer coming in. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is a, it's a slow, slow but steady coming in, though. Um, and this is a, a message for you or an offer for you. It, it might be something business-related, but... The focus here is uh, love, and um, so this could very easily be that. Okay. Oh, your your energy though is really indifferent. Um, 
you, 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 it's like you don't even recognize an offer that has come in. You've, you're looking at the three cups you've already got in front of you, and so it doesn't really matter to you that um, this cup is appearing, you know, out of the clouds, uh, you know, apparently from on high. You know, you're just like, eh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. So, <laughs> so <laughs> their feelings right now are very out of balance. Um, here, I just realized that you're probably going to have a hard time seeing these at this angle. So this is the uh, Two of Pentacles in the Mystical Tarot by Giuliano Costa, my new fave. So yes, your partner is feeling out of balance, um, juggling, uh, trying to see uh, where they fit in maybe. And oh, well, their, their energy is... is somewhat um, uh, pugnacious. <laughs> they, they seem to be wanting to cause drama and you know, picking a fight. Uh, it, well, that could uh, explain why, um, because of their feelings of being um, out of balance. Um, that would contribute to that being fussy and basically a pain. Uh, so what are your obstacles here? Yeah, you're not really you're not really digging this um, drama that they're creating. You'd rather just kind of uh, you know take off and uh, go a different way. Um, you might not feel that you're getting all the information, um, but you're smart, and so you've you've compiled a group of facts, and uh, you know some you've taken on and some you've left behind, um, but you. It doesn't seem as if you have the whole story. Their obstacles. Ah, the fool in reverse. So, um, here's that card so you can see. Uh, they're in reverse. The fool indicates that they're not, they're not willing to take that leap just like yet. Um, they're, they don't feel free. They're still listening to that the little yappy voice in their head that's telling them, don't do it. So, so they're probably going to be pretty paralyzed. They're out of balance. They're, um, they're creating drama and they're not even willing to take the leap. So it's, it almost to me, even before I turn the potential for relationship card, it's the feelings I'm getting from these groups of cards, um, outside of this one, meaning, uh, the feeling of something coming in for you. But it is slow. But you know what? If 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 this person gains their perspective and their balance, uh, they may at some time in the future be willing. And here we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this would indicate to me, yes, this this um, this is at a standstill as far as uh, your relationship goes. It doesn't mean that. There's no potential going forward, but right at this moment, uh, it, it appears to be stalled. Yes, and the the two of wands in reverse. Um, so that indicates to me that you're still waiting, waiting for those ships to come in, and um, it looks as if behind uh, your your partner with this feelings of out of balance, one of those ships has sunk. <laughs> so there's, uh, but there's still another one on the horizon. So I would say that uh, you do have something coming towards you. It is slow but steady. It's not going to be right away, but uh, you you are still uh, hopeful and waiting for it. And I, let me pull a clarifier. In fact, I think I'll pull a clarifier from my other deck that I've been threatening to break out. <laughs> I've, I've uh, played with it a bit, shuffled with it a bit, and it's, a, it's, a, it's another really beautiful deck, but it's, it's a little bit 
has a harder edge, I think, than the um, the Giuliano Costa deck. Um, so. Okay. The Hermit. Okay, well that explains it. You're, uh, you're not quite ready uh, to take anything on yet. You're still thinking about it. You're, um, you've taken time to be introspective and you're looking within and you may very well find that there's some things inside you that you need to um, release during this full moon. So uh, uh, I think that, uh, yes, uh, as far as romance going forward, possibly not in June. Uh, but I would say uh, don't count your chickens because... Um, we still have Mr. Pentacles coming in. And, uh, yeah, um, once you've got all these things sorted out, you should be able to go forward. Okay, all right, now let's go, let's move on. Oh, that was Aries. Now, for Taurus. I'm just going to go through these as quickly as we can. Okay, it says here, they're done. Okay. Okay. My frog spit his coin out. Okay, your feelings right now, uh, Taurus, you feel as if you're um, moving towards smoother waters. You may have had a rough time in the past, uh, recently, uh, but it appears that you're headed towards better things. Um, that's what, uh, how your, your feeling is right now, and your, your energy is, oh, good. <laughs> this is, here, I'll, I have to show you this. Six of Swords. It's a beauty. And you also have, your energy is the Nine of Swords in reverse. So you have finally got to the end of um, all those things that kept you up at night worrying. And so your energy is, is releasing. It's perfect for the full moon. Release all those things that have driven you crazy and get them, get them out of your life. Uh, that's uh, very possible. Ah, oh, your partner is feeling full on 10 of cups. So they're feeling a soulmate connection with you. They're feeling uh, very happy. They're looking towards the future. Um, you know, happy life, happy home, happy kids, the whole, the whole shoot and match, as they say. Their energy is financial independence. Now, some people will say that the Nine of Pentacles is a card of being single, uh, but to me, this is simply financial independence. So their, ener their energy uh, seems very um, relaxed because they don't feel like they've got to worry. Uh, they've got <laughs> money in the bank and they've got you on their arm. So what what could possibly be their challenges and obstacles? <laughs> Yours, you you appear to, to ha have had a rougher time than them, but you feel you feel that easing up and things are getting better for you. You still don't feel like there's um, a an even give and take. You might feel that you're not giving as much as they are. But you know what? If this person really cares for you, it's not about money. Uh, it shouldn't be about money. It should be, you know, the give and take that you have with another person is they have talents that you don't have and you have talents that they don't have. But together, you you can join forces and, you know, make a ten of cups. 
their challenges. The Five of Swords in reverse. Their challenges feeling perhaps like they need to win. Um, this is a card to me in the in the um, in the upright position means uh, nobody really feels like they won. Nobody really feels like they lost. So it's uh, it's kind of unsatisfying. So perhaps that's the position that they're in right now. Um, they don't feel like uh, this whatever challenge uh, that you have. That I don't think they think it's a contest, and that's a good thing. Yeah, so that's not really an obstacle. Um, unless that unless they're accustomed to having challenges and they want to create a challenge. Uh, but the potential is the star. So what I'm seeing here is healing, and I am I'm gonna say that that is you that's healing. Uh, so this relationship that you're in or is are about to uh, about to start, uh, about to enter into, is very healing for you. It's in fact feels like a dream come true. Uh, that's a beautiful thing. And this is a beautiful card. The star. Now the final outcome, I have the emperor in reverse. And I, I actually kind of like that. <laughs> because to me, the emperor in the upright, mean to me, could very well mean someone's trying to be the boss. And, um... If you've got things moving in the right direction, letting go of past um, painful thoughts, um, healing, um, and now uh, with the Emperor in reverse, I'm going to say that nobody feels like they have to be the boss here, which is really, and it also sort of um, uh, supports uh, this card the um, Five of Swords in reverse. Um, you can you can count on this to be fair and equitable. Um, so those thinking that things aren't um, equal, give and take, uh, that's really sort of a fallacy. Things are um, the, your partner is perfectly happy with what you contribute. So I would say that uh, that's a good reading. And, and, I, and I will go ahead and pull one more from the Celtic uh, tarot also. Mm. The Magician. Now these, these cards aren't as... Um, classic design uh, as the the um, uh, the mystical tarot is uh, unmistakable you know this one you you know this is the magician um, so so that tells me that you can um, you can make this happen this uh, this relationship can manifest successfully this was in the upright so I'm saying um, it's looking good for Taurus. Okay, so we're moving right on to Gemini. I hope it works this way, folks, because uh, I would really like to do it this way. It takes me almost six hours to do 12 signs and do all the uploading and titling. So... And then if I make a mistake and try to edit, well, it just gets... The editing is really time-consuming. And I can't always manage it for some strange reason. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So, for Gemini, love in June Oop, 2018. 
No, I, I don't think I can take these. No. Too many at once. Unless they do it again. <laughs> feelings Gemini um, you are feeling right now like a new beginning is not forthcoming uh, I have the um, this is the ace of wands and it showed up in the reverse now in the upright this would be a new beginning um, a passionate new beginning but in the upright, uh, I'm seeing a stall here. I'm, see I'm not seeing um, a new beginning in this case. Uh, so there, there must be something uh, in your energy that is stalling this. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, also, uh, wands again. Uh, this is the Knight of Wands, and it, it is also in reverse. So... Your energy is um, passionate, but flighty. Um, uh, moving too fast, maybe. Uh, too fast in and out. Um, yeah. Your partner has the magician uh, in reverse for their feelings. So they're sort of feeling as if they really have no control at this point. They, they, this may not be your current partner, mind you. This may be someone that's, that's headed into your life. Whoever this person is, they're out there feeling um, like they can't really affect a change uh, uh, right now. They don't feel like they're capable of making something happen. And in fact, they have the um, Six of Swords in reverse. So um, their energy is that of someone who um, thinks they foresee rough waters ahead. Um, they're not, um, they, don't, they don't perceive themselves to be heading towards a, a, a smoother um, way to go. And your obstacle, you have the tower. So there must have been something uh, current or in your recent past that uh, fell apart. Uh, it was it was not based on a um, a solid foundation. So uh, it fizzled. Uh, uh, not just fizzled. It it blew up. Um, this is sort of a sudden, unwelcome change. Uh, but, the, but the upside of the Tower card is that this should make room for you to move forward. The only obstacle or challenge that I see with this is that you might be too hurt or too sensitive at this point to allow yourself to move forward. And apparently you're... you're the energy of the person who uh, either wants to be in your life or is in your life feels like they can't really do anything to help with the way that you feel right now. Yeah, they want uh, they want a stable foundation with you. They want they want that happily ever after. This is the four of wands. That's what they're hoping for. That's what they're seeing uh, in their mind's eyes as what they desire, but but they don't. But their own energy isn't projecting that. It would be very difficult for this to come to fruition with someone feeling like it's not going well, while they hope for it to go well, because 
hoping, saying I hope is just another way of saying I don't have, which is frankly negative. So yeah, any, any, anything like that, you have to be very careful how you word it if you want to release negative energy and call in good things to you. The potential for this relationship, it looks as if uh, neither one of you is willing to allow something right now. Uh, this is the Two of Swords and it is in the upright. So this means that this decision that's out there for you to make uh, isn't being made. Your, both of you in fact are uh, uh, rejecting all comers. Eyes closed, ears closed, nope is your word of the day, <laughs> perhaps of the month. So the final outcome, I'm seeing, yes, the, the uh, fool in reverse is telling me uh, this is not going forward. Uh, this leap uh, that would uh, be required for you to get into this relationship um, isn't happening. And I'm going to pull one clarifier from the Celtic Tarot, um, the deck my grandson calls Deadly. Interesting. Well, uh, the Emperor in Reverse, and uh, uh, this is from the other deck. <laughs> <laughs> and it certainly doesn't look like an emperor, but <laughs> kind of comical. But uh, so, yes. Um, yeah, nobody's really stepping up here uh, and uh, or taking charge. Uh, and we had the emperor in reverse on one of the other readings, but in conjunction with the other cards, uh, I could see that. It actually was a good thing. Um, it meant that no one was going to try and be overly controlling. Uh, but in this case, uh, I see nobody stepping up, nobody really doing anything. Uh, this is just um, no movement, uh, uh, total refusal on both sides. So, um, gee, it doesn't look like uh, you're going forward uh, in... Uh, in a potential relationship coming coming to you. Uh, there's no new beginning, and there's no message coming in, and there is the tower, so, and the two of swords. So, yeah, there's this is a little bit too hard-edged for, um, for happiness to bloom out of this. Um, not fertile ground. Okay. Gemini, we're moving on now to Cancer. So, what does Cancer need to know? For June 2018 in love. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. You have not been feeling real happy lately. You have had a lot of sleepless nights worrying over something. And you're worrying about defending your ideas. Your energy is of someone who um, feels the need to defend themselves. Um, 
and this is uh, the seven of wands and in this aspect uh, I would say that you have possibilities of good things coming in uh, but with all this defensiveness uh, it looks like you're uh, you're missing out on uh, uh, your shooting stars that are behind you there this is that card that's what it looks like in the upright and it is in the reverse your potential partner is waiting waiting for something to happen their feelings are waiting for their ship to come in the two of the two of wands uh, standing at a crossroads trying to decide which way to go and they have the page of pentacles uh, as their energy so they're projecting um, a sort of an immature energy uh, and kind of slow at that um, now I don't know if this is necessarily a, a younger person uh, it could just be someone who is not very mature uh, and here, oh, by the way, there's the Page of Pentacles. Okay, the obstacles that you feel, uh, the Hanged Man, uh, but it's in reverse. So you, um, you are feeling kind of stuck, but uh, on the upside, <laughs> you are seeing things from a different perspective. And... Um, so yeah, I would say that uh, you kind of feel uncomfortable and um, sometimes looking at things in a different way can be uncomfortable. And uh, your partner or potential partner is full of love. So this is interesting. Ah, okay. This is their challenge. They are immature as the Page of Pentacles would indicate. The King of Cups is a mature, responsible, loving energy. And I don't think they have this. This is their challenge. So that would indicate that this is not the case. Um, oh, I'm not getting a lot of positive responses. The potential, the Four of Pentacles. Now, it could be that um, you two could get together and cling tightly together to each other, feeling like you are what each other needs. Uh, and you know what? Uh, in the final outcome, um, I'm seeing the chariot, which is forward movement. Uh, so, as far as love goes, uh, for cancer for the month of uh, June I would say your love like it is looking a little bit confusing a little bit um, a little bit dramatic stuff going on some people are defensive and some people are immature but look at things from another perspective and this person is at least striving to be that more mature person in love and um, so I'd say it looks like it's worth hanging on to, the Four of Pentacles. It's worth, uh, it's worth moving forward. And I don't think you need a clarifier um, for that, Cancer. And I'm going to move straight on to Leo now. So far, I kind of like the way this is going. that card. See, very traditional, the uh, mystical tarot. Boy, that's funny. It's the second time I've done that. I have heard that if the cards don't want to go together, they're done. But I, you know, I can't just not shuffle. <laughs> 
a few times. Okay. It just didn't feel ready. Okay. For Leo. For the month of June. Okay, what have I got going on here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how I do these things. Okay. Your feelings right now. Oh, that's that doesn't make any sense. We just got that card in that position. <laughs> uh, Ace of Wands in reverse. Uh, no new beginning. No passionate new start. That's how you feel right now. Yet your energy is the Ten of Pentacles, which is ultimate happiness, security. Uh, this is a. Uh, indicated uh, this is a uh, someone at the end of their life having accumulated all of their wealth and their family and everything is good uh, the ultimate funny <laughs> y'all saw me <laughs> shuffle this is the two of Pentacles uh, in the upright um, so the feelings of your your potential partner or partner are um, lacking balance right now. They don't really feel like they've got a handle on things. They um, they're balancing on a top, and they have the um, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Their energy is not not moving forward, not coming in. Not communicating. Your obstacles is is, is the uh, two of wands. Um, so you must be having a hard time deciding um, which way you want to go um, because you're at a crossroads right now, and that's your obstacle. Their obstacle is, uh, is a lot of pain. I've had this in the last three readings, um, but this is in the reverse. So the Nine of Swords in reverse indicates that this person's had a pain in the past and they're coming to the end of this cycle. So uh, their obstacle is now um, to release this and let this go. And the, um, the Page of Swords in the upright um, indicates that the two of you may be keeping an eye on each other, um, which uh, at least shows interest, um, you know, uh, watching each other on social media. Um, and you also, um, the truth is an issue. Uh, I mean, something that's, that you both value and uh, intelligence too. Uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing that with this card. This uh, the swords are of clarity and intelligence, and um, and it's, I'm not sure why this this particular one is associated with uh, stalking behavior, <laughs> but but let's call it something nicer like showing interest. <laughs> so, your bottom line uh, as far as your final outcome. Mm. the lovers but it's in reverse so this this tells me that this decision because this the lovers card is a, is a card of choice um, and if you are if, if this card shows up in the reverse um, this is a choice that for some reason you're not you're not ready to make you're at a crossroads. They're just starting to release their negative 
thoughts of uh, the past. Um, so perhaps uh, with more clarity and communication between the two of you, keep an eye on each other and you'll get to know each other in that way. So don't give up uh, and, and perhaps this choice will come, um, you know, maybe next month. Because it just seems like it's not quite uh, ripe enough yet for either one of you. Uh, the Empress. So the Empress, this almost reminds me of uh, some of those older uh, Playboy cartoons. Uh, at any rate, uh, this, this implies to me that in order to make this decision, you're going to really need to trust your intuition. You, you, um, you have to keep an eye on each other. It's just like, uh, it, it's only natural at this point. It, for, for the two of you to get a good sense of each other, this is probably, seems to me this is how you're doing it. You're using your intuition, you're keeping an eye on each other, you're getting a sense of each other now. So I'd say going forward, uh, this shows possibilities in the future. Um, so, well, that's, uh, I hope that's uh, good news for you, Leo. And um, I'm gonna move on now to Virgo. Virgo need to know. Let's get some different cards this time. What do you say? Okay. Okay. Virgo, your energy is the world uh, in reverse. Now, um, I would say that this indicates uh, the end of a cycle still, even though it's in the reverse, um, because uh, it's a cycle. It goes around, <laughs> it'll go up, it'll go down. <laughs> so yes, uh, cycle complete um, is how you feel right now. Hmm. Temperance. Okay, so your your energy is that of patience. Um, you seem like a very um, well-rounded, calm, even keel person. And you seem to have a pretty good understanding of what is uh, going on. And so you're not, uh, you're not freaking out. You're not uh, being dramatic. You're... Um, you're showing patience and you're showing your ability to, you know, combine uh, your ideas with other people's ideas, um, and, you know, just to contribute. And uh, that's really a nice energy to have. Your partner's feelings? Interesting. These cards seem to me so related. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. And um, so... Yes, yeah, so the real wheel of fortune, uh, the wheel turns. The wheel turns up, uh, and there there's a cycle. <laughs> it goes up and it goes down. <laughs> so, uh, this in this case, it's in the uh, uh, reverse, um, and as is the world. Um, 
But there again, that doesn't necessarily mean uh, things are bad because it's a wheel. Uh, it turns. It goes. It fully rotates. Things will. Things will go bad. Things will go good. I mean, that's the nature of life. Things aren't always, you know, um, a bowl of cherries. And the Hierophant, in reverse, for your partner's energy. So I'm, I'm getting the impression that at this moment, they, they're, they're not, they're not into traditional values. Um, so uh, this is often called the marriage card in the upright position, and um, I, I never call it that, but. Uh, traditional values, uh, one could argue, you know, uh, marriage is a tradition. Um, so I would say perhaps this person that uh, your, your energies are um, combining or have combined or are about to combine, um, they're, they're not thinking along, along those lines of traditional things. And your obstacle is the nine of cups in reverse so that uh, that is um, a wish unfulfilled um, but there again you seem very even keel about the whole thing as if to say you know it is what it is and their um, their obstacles is, is the queen of uh, swords in reverse now, the Queen of Swords, I must say, she's not the sweetest of the queens. <laughs> In fact, uh, some would say she's brutal. She rules with an iron hand, um, and she's not the nicest of ladies. And in reverse, which this is, um, this would be the most negative aspect of that. So this is someone who is cold and unfeeling and blunt. Now, this is their obstacle. Now, perhaps this is this person or this is what they've experienced recently. They either are cold and feeling and, and blunt or unfeeling and blunt themselves or that's just what they've been through. Uh, you would know better than I, I believe, at this point. Your potential justice. So, okay. Um, this seems to me like this could be something for both of you that's very fair. Uh, equal. Um, but, <laughs> the fool in reverse. Uh, there's still an unwillingness to take that leap. So, you're unfulfilled. They're um, not traditional. They're perhaps this energy of the cold, blunt, um, unwelcome truth from this Queen of Swords um, will prevent... Um, movement forward currently. Uh, let's see if there's any any clarification we can get on that out of the Celtic Tarot. Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles. So this uh, this is often called the, the card of being single. And oddly enough, the bottom of the deck, here's, here's the uh, Celtic Nine of Coins. Um, yeah, this does look like single to me in this case. You've got uh, the energy of uh, this potential partner or partner um, saying, no, I don't really want to get that seriously involved. I'm not looking for a, a um, committed relationship. Being blunt and cold. 
And the bottom of this deck is the Eight of Cups walking away. So I'm going to guess um, that you, uh, you're, you're not going to, yeah, and you don't need to. You're, you're, you're okay. Um, you're going to be all right single. And for now, anyway, this person doesn't really suit your needs. So, um, as far as what's coming for you in June, eh, it doesn't really look all that great. Terribly sorry, Virgo. Um, but let's move on now to Libra. What does Libra need to know? Libra in love, June Okay, Libra, your feelings right now are that there is an unwelcome truth that has just been presented to you and that you're not happy about. Um, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, and that is something that's just been revealed to you that is unpleasant. Uh, and let's see. Oh. But your energy is the Ten of Cups, uh, which is which is a happy soul, uh, a soul in a happy marriage. So I wonder what this unwelcome truth that just came to you is. Uh, let's see. Your partner's feelings right now are that things are not fair and balanced. It's the Six of Six of Coins in reverse. So whatever's going on. Um, they don't feel like it's fair. Uh, this m might have something to do with this um, unwelcome truth coming in. And their energy is the Page of Swords in reverse. So, yes, they may be intelligent. Um, however, uh, in the reverse, which this is, Page of Swords in reverse, um, they're, they might be sneaking around and watching you and not in a nice way. I would say that they are, they're trying to catch you at something perhaps, or either that, or they're sneaking around. Maybe that's the unwelcome truth. It, uh, let's see, your obstacles. Your obstacle is the hermit. Um, so uh, you either need some time alone to think, um, and and that might be hard for you to come by right now. But this definitely is uh, something that should be addressed. Um, uh, for my own, for my own self, I can say that. Um, a little introspection goes a long way, um, but sometimes it takes a long time to come out the other side. Uh, and your challenges for your partner, uh, three of cups in reverse. Uh, that, that does point to me that someone that's um, maybe not being 100% on the up and up um, with you. The Three of Cups, in some cases, uh, and this is in reverse, 
uh, but I've never uh, I never looked at it this way. In in the upright, it is just a celebration. It's people getting together to have fun. It's you know friends, uh, you know um, good connection. Um, but in the reverse, uh, it it might be. Um, that they're sneaking around, just as the the um, page of swords in reverse indicates. There might be something that um, they're trying to. I don't know. I I don't want to. I don't want to give a ne negative aspect to this because you, there's no telling. But they're feeling like something's unfair. They're not. They're not being 100% uh, forthright with you. Um, and you feel something's coming in that's really bothering you. So you have to think about it. The potential going forward is a wish unfulfilled. So the Nine of Cups in reverse. So uh, this is not, you know, kudos and cheers to you. This is like, this is not looking great. Um, <laughs> this is the third time I've had this in this position. The, um, the fool in reverse. So this is not moving forward and it doesn't, yeah, no leap of faith, uh, as far as the outcome goes. And I want to pull one more from the Celtic Tarot. Okay, this jumped out at me. The Knight of Chalices. That's that's a that's a positive sign, and it's in the upright as well. Um, gorgeous card. Uh, again, this is um, the Celtic Tarot. Um, but I, this this sounds like something good coming in for you, a message coming in, and love coming in. So I think you're, this knight in shining armor has just saved the day. Um, hopefully, uh, this will be uh, your the night that you hope it is. <laughs> okay, Libra, good luck to you. Your reading, frankly, looked better than some others. Um, but, you know, you can only call them as you see them. Okay, now for Scorpio, for love, for June 2018. Okay. Oops. One at a time. Okay, Scorpio. Hmm, you are ignoring an offer uh, that's been coming to you. Um, perhaps uh, it doesn't feel good enough to you. And in the reverse, um, you you you're getting the impression that this offer has nothing to do with love. Here's the four of cups in reverse. And your energy is temperance. So you you have patience and um, fairness. You're a decent person. Um, 
but your feelings have been hurt or like I said like the love is emptied out uh, your partner is the king of uh, coins in reverse their feelings are well they're in reverse I would say the most negative aspect of this king would be his uh, focus on uh, monetary things um, perhaps an over focus um, that can really be um, bothersome if someone thinks too much about money I mean yeah it's nice uh, not to eat bologna every night but you have to enjoy uh, you have to enjoy things as well so you have to strike a balance and their energy is <laughs> miserly the negative aspect of this four of coins is this person their energy is uh, hanging on to every penny and not spending anything so that fully supports this king of coins in reverse um, yes this is someone who is 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 just going to stash everything away and not spend it on you <laughs> so <laughs> your challenge your challenge is the wheel of fortune it's interesting talking about money <laughs> but it's in the upright um, and I guess the only challenge being that uh, it, it the fact that it's a wheel and yes it might be going up now but the nature of a wheel is that it turns and it will turn back down again uh, that's the nature of things uh, you you have uh, things go up and things go down there are cycles to everything things get good things get bad um, things end things start over again so the challenge for your um, your partner I'm sorry the five of Pentacles so they feel like they've been left out in the cold and I have to say I had a subscriber that <laughs> I had pointed out that you know this is probably one of the more severe five of coins because in a, in a lot of them uh, the traditional cards in fact they they show people that have like rags wrapped around their feet uh, or holy socks now this person's actually missing a leg and one of my subscribers says he doesn't have a leg to stand on <laughs> so, I'm sorry I told him I was gonna steal it <laughs> so anyway your partner's challenges they don't have a leg to stand on <laughs> so they feel left out in the cold your fortunes are turning in your favor and they feel left out in the cold potential potential two of wands that's something to build on um, waiting uh, uh, standing at a crossroads trying to figure out which way to go uh, in the very early energy of wands which is um, um, passionate uh, and fast moving so that's that's a good thing huh. and the magician in the upright so yes I would say um, Scorpio you have got uh, what it takes to manifest uh, a good relationship in June you have the magician in the upright position in the final outcome uh, so yes you have everything at your disposal and you can make this happen and I'm gonna pull one more Oops. two jumped oh three jumped hmm. it's interesting P king of Pentacles in the upright um, which would indicate that this perhaps this energy has matured from this king of pentacles um, in reverse uh, the five of cups indicates uh, crying over spilt milk so um, some someone in this relationship perhaps uh, is still grieving over something that happened in their past and we have um, 
the Knave of Swords, which would be the page. Uh, so this is, um, there again, we've got that stalking behavior. Oh, excuse me, this was in the reverse. Uh, now these three jumped out, and I suppose I should have uh, only taken one, but let me see if there's anything. Hmm. Justice again uh, is the bottom of the the bottom of the deck, and we'll take that as a as a good clarifier for this because you have the justice. Um, oh, excuse me, you have temperance, but justice would say that to me, all these things that you're you're going through, all these things that they're going through, it seems like they have turned themselves around. There may be an element of crying over spilled milk, but there is fairness in the end. So if this is something that you're hoping will happen, a relationship that you hope will come to fruition, if it is meant to be, if if you're a good person, they're a good person, it, it will happen. So uh, I know that's not very clear, ah, but the very next card is the Knight of Chalices or Knight of Cups. So that's, <laughs> and, and the Four of Wands. So yeah, I would say yeah, it's the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups in the Celtic Tarot. So it's possible. It's possible for you to go forward with this. You can manifest this. It might just take a little bit of work from you and from them. So, okay, Scorpio, moving on to Sagittarius. I hope this thing isn't gonna end up being too long. It's pretty long. <laughs> Sagittarius in love for June 2018. By the time I get done here, it should be just right for the full moon release ceremony to let go of any leftover residual pain from the past. And what I want to release is love to the world for everybody. So I'm sending it out there as soon as I'm done with my readings tonight. That one jumped and face up. That is justice in the upright. Okay. Okay. Okay, you feel burdened right now. You feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You feel like no one's helping you. So you feel burdened. Um, but your energy is rebirth. So whatever you have gone through, the 10 is the end of a cycle. So you, you feel like you're starting over like a new you, like you're finally um, listening to your own kind of music. Maybe you're making your own kind of music. Um, your potential partner is the Page of Wands. So this is a message coming in, a passionate message. Um, and their energy is, oh, the Ten of Cups in reverse. So this person... Um, is not happy right now. Their energy is that of um, unhappiness. Um, 
but they're coming towards you with passion. They've got a message for you. And you're ready to release this burden that you've been carrying. Your obstacle is um, the Ace of Wands in reverse. So perhaps you had a passionate new beginning that went awry. Um, something didn't go forward, didn't manifest. Uh, their challenge, oh, uh, they have the, uh, the Ace of Pentacles in, in the upright. So this is, this is a new beginning. Um, uh, why that would be a challenge for them is hard to say. Perhaps they have uh, fears uh, about this, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Their fear that uh, that unhappiness would persist or could happen again. So uh, the potential is the Seven of Cups. So the potential is telling me this could go any kind of way. This could, you could choose to go forward with them. You could choose to go forward with someone else. And same with them. Your options are many in this case. And death in reverse. So the death card in reverse uh, would tell me that um, you have let go of something. And I would say that the timing doesn't seem great right at this moment to go forward. Uh, personally, I would say it looks like your partner needs a little more time, and perhaps you do as well. You have just started your rebirth, but you're still feeling the sting of a new beginning that didn't take off and perhaps this burden that you've been carrying. And too many choices can be a bad thing. Um, so I'm going to get a clarifier from uh, the Celtic deck. Yes, I'm starting to like these cards. judgment again rebirth so <laughs> you have the death card and rebirth so I say there is potential um, you uh, you've dealt with some things and so have they so it seems to me that between the two of you there's maturity and you can realize a brand new beginning uh, a rebirth so okay Sagittarius let's move on to Capricorn you'll tell me if I miss somebody won't you <laughs> I don't uh, I don't have I'm not checking these off as I go so um, if I have dropped somebody off there, let me know, and I will do a, a separate reading for them. But uh, I'm starting with the traditional order, which is Aries at the start. Okay. kind of out of balance a little bit yourself you you feel like there's something that's been unfair this is justice in reverse um, and you have the king of uh, cups in reverse also so your energy is that of someone who has fallen out of love perhaps someone who 
either doesn't ha have love to give or feels like the love that was in the relationship has drained away. And that's leaving you feeling like it's unfair. Okay, so your, your partner is uh, not feeling inclined to commit right now. Um, the Hierophant in reverse. So perhaps they just, perhaps they're just not a traditional person and they don't embrace traditional values. That is also the case and that, you know, that could indicate a lack of uh, commitment, uh, but it also could mean something completely different. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to be, you know, untraditional. Uh, but their energy, I'm getting the... Uh, the Ace of Swords in reverse. So, so I'm. To me, the Ace of Swords in reverse is uh, a truth re revealed, an unwelcome truth. Um, I'm not sure how this person's energy could be an unwelcome truth. Unless it's just gotten to a point where you two don't suit each other at all, and even just the way they stand bothers you. I've been there. Um, your, uh, yes, again, your energy is the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is a, a relationship uh, that has ended or uh, love that has drained away. And... There's his the Two of Cups in reverse. So this means uh, soulmate energy uh, um, is not there. Uh, there again, with the Cups in reverse, the love is drained away. This is not a soulmate connection. That's what this is telling me. You both have indicators of that. Yet, <laughs> in the potential, we have uh, the Sun. Happiness. The probably the happiest card uh, in the whole tarot deck. So what do I know? <laughs> uh, but there, there we have the magician in reverse. Uh, so this tells me that this is not being manifested. Uh, perhaps the two of you are happy in yourselves. No, both of your energies are not happy. So. Let's clarify this because we have the sun in the upright and the magician in the reverse. So what does this mean for Capricorn for June in love? interesting queen of swords clarity intelligence um, coldness brutality in some cases um, okay hmm So what is this? Uh, what is this sun in this position of potential? What is the sun there for? The chariot. Okay, the chariot in reverse tells me um, it's just not moving forward right now. Uh, I guess you two are both content to stay where you are and not move forward. This could mean that you're staying in a relationship because it's just comfortable. Um, it has been what you're used to, perhaps. I'm seeing a lot of cards in the reverse, though. In fact, your energy, your challenges, and your um, feelings are all in the reverse. Um, and so is this chariot. So... Um, the only card uh, 
that came up upright is the sun and the queen of swords. Um, so I guess you'll be happy in your truth and just stay where you are and not move forward. <laughs> Well, Capricorn, um, I, I'm not sure why this is coming out the way it did, but um, this is this must mean something to someone. So I'm moving on now, Capricorn, to Aquarius. Okay. Okay, for Aquarius, in love for June 2018. Well, I'm going to have to stop shuffling like that. Okay, what does Aquarius need to know for June 2018 in love? Okay, Aquarius, you are feeling cold. You, um, you're embracing uh, the brutal truth. Um, but your energy is the sun. So you feel happy within yourself. Hmm. Um, okay, and your partner feels the magician in reverse. So your potential partner, your future partner, or your current partner um, doesn't feel like they, they're uh, in control of anything, like they, they can't affect a change in, uh, in any kind of situation or your relationship. And they are the fool in reverse. So they feel they can't take a leap of faith with you. Um, your challenge is the devil. The devil could indicate um, an addiction, uh, too, too much drink, um, or, or just an obsession of some kind, overthinking or an obsession over a certain person or certain thing. Uh, and there, your partner's challenge is the star. Um, the star does indicate healing and, um, and a wish come true. So perhaps this, this person is still in the process of healing and that's their challenge. Your potential going forward is the world. Um, full circle. Something has gone full circle. Um, I'm not sure how that would, how that w plays into the potential of a relationship. Um, if it's gone full circle or um, to an, towards an end or uh, an end of a cycle or um, I mean, it could just mean the fullness of a relationship, but it could also very well mean the end of a cycle. Okay, and a justice in reverse um, tells me uh, perhaps uh, th there's this is not uh, there's no fairness here. Um, this doesn't, it's not balanced. It's, yeah, it's not, uh, I'm not feeling a, a positive outcome at the end of this, frankly. I'm getting the end of something and uh, something about karma. 
but not good karma. Oh. Temperance. Um, patience. Uh, so, okay. So perhaps uh, this person will heal and perhaps you'll get over your uh, addiction, this issue, whichever it is that you have. Uh, temperance is, is telling me that it's possible, uh, but it's going to take time. Um, so, uh, good luck with that, uh, Aquarius. Uh, and I've got to keep moving here. We're on to Pisces. Okay. Now, I may publish this without timestamps, uh, so if someone uh, is so inclined and they want to do that, please feel free. Oops. See, normally what I do is I do um, either four or six at a time, and then I take a break. But this way, I'm hoping, I may or may not do it this way going forward. Let me know what you think. Yeah, you probably, probably everybody's gone now except for Pisces, <laughs> which is who I'm working on now. So what's the story for Pisces for June in love 2018? You feel pretty lucky right now, Pisces. You feel like everything's turning in your favor. This is the Wheel of Fortune at the, in the Mystical Tarot by Giuliano Costa. Oops. Um, but your energy is that of the Four of Swords. So you have taken a time out. You, you wanted to take time out to think and rest and so that's your energy right now, but you're feeling like things are turning in your favor. Your potential partner or your partner is feeling like the Queen of Swords. Um, they feel intelligent, they feel in control, they feel honest and they can lack emotion. And their, <coughs> their energy is the Nine of Swords in reverse. So they've had some issues. Um, things that kept them up at night. Uh, wouldn't let them sleep because they were dwelling on it. But this is the Nine. So that's nearly at the end of this cycle. You know, I haven't seen the Ten of Swords come up at all in all of these readings this time. Um, but it's very near the end for for your partner as far as letting go of uh, of all those terrible things it is in reverse so they should be falling away at this point your obstacle is the knight of swords in reverse so a uh, swift moving message coming in for you has stalled and it's not coming in. So there's some sort of lack of communication here. And a, the uh, Seven of Cups in reverse. Um, this indicates to me that the obstacles for your partner is they feel like they have no choice. Um, which, uh, yeah, can be uh, not a pleasant thing for a person to feel. Um, 
But now the potential is the uh, king of uh, coins in the upright. Now that indicates the energy that is very stable, um, financially stable, as well as mature. Um, uh, so I would say that's a good sign. Um, but now I've got the, uh, <laughs> the king of wands in reverse as far as the outcome. So um, this king is different than the, um, than the king of pentacles. He's less stable and in fact he's in reverse. So that's not a good indicator for uh, a final outcome. So let me see if uh, the Celtic Tarot can give us any clarity on this, um, this King of Wands in reverse. Oops. Somehow I got these front to back. There we go. Uh, eight of wands in reverse so yes we, we are having an issue with communication um, some communication that you've expected is not coming in However, we have the Nine of Cups in the upright. Um, so whether or not that involves this person that you're with, um, I can't say that for sure. Uh, but what I'm seeing as a bottom line is a wish fulfilled. So that's a good way to end an evening, Pisces. And I will... Um, I'll put timestamps in uh, as I go, going forward. If I if I don't see it, uh, someone jump in there and do it. <laughs> but first, uh, I'm gonna get this uploading, and uh, I'm gonna do a nice um, full moon release ceremony. Now, anybody can do that. Uh, you just make a list of things that you want to eliminate from your life, and ask the moon to take them away. Uh, you could, you could look up full moon release ceremony. There's there are some other details to it that uh, may or may not be helpful. Certainly are not necessary. But uh, you don't have to be standing there under the light of the moon. You could, <laughs> you could be anywhere. The moon knows. <laughs> so uh, thank you all for um, subscribing. Uh, I'm really gratified that I, I jumped uh, 100 subscribers in one day. And um, I hope you, you like this style of reading. Uh, let me know. And uh, if that's how you like it done, then that's how I'll do it in the future. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.